Vera Kriegel and her twin sister Olga were taken from their Czechoslovakian town when they were five years old and sent to Auschwitz. She talks about the sheer dread of getting to the camp and having to get off the train on dead people's steps because the cattle cars were so full that the dead were still standing. When new people came to the camp, they were ranked by how strong they were. The weak ones were killed right away, while the strong ones were put to work. Dr. Josef Mengele and his team of twin hunters were also there. She says that he was very interested in her mother's perfect Aryan features and blue eyes, which were different from her own and her sister's brown eyes. Jona Lax was also taken from the Lodz ghetto when she was a girl. She remembers when she got to the camp. She was on her way to the gas chamber when her sister told Mengele that they were twins. When Mengele found out that they were twins, he brought them to his lab. The monster Mengele and his obsession with twins. Joseph Mengele joined the Nazi party in 1937, and by 1938, he was a member of the SS. He was a medical officer in a battalion at first, but in May 1943, he was sent to work in a Nazi concentration camp. He was finally sent to Auschwitz, where he saw the chance to do medical research on prisoners. It's not surprising that he did his tests on identical twins without caring about how they felt. Josef Mengele would often strike an upbeat pose on the platform of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp when trains bringing prisoners from all over Germany-occupied Europe arrived there. The SS doctor pointed in one direction and sent the strongest prisoners to work as slaves in factories. In the other direction, he sent many women, children, the sick, and the old to gas chambers where they were killed and burned. A third group, mostly toddler twins, was sent to well-equipped barracks where Mengele did cruel and often deadly surgical tests on them in a fake science attempt to find out how genes work. Mengele was called the Angel of Death because he had a sarcastic smile and a deadly touch. Dr. Olga Lengel, who was in a concentration camp, said that Mengele carefully watched a baby being born. In less than an hour, the whole family was taken to the gas chamber. A Hungarian Jewish gynecologist, Dr. Gisela Pearl, recalled the aftermath of one of Mengele's terrible killings. He began washing his hands while whistling merrily and wearing a look of profound contentment on his face. If the baby wasn't a twin, Josef Mengele would throw it in the oven, like he did with one unfortunate baby, as one witness said. Another person who saw what happened said that Mengele had hundreds of human eyes stuck to the wall of his lab like a collection of butterflies. It was clear that Mengele was interested in twins. His study focused on the causes and effects of genetic diseases, as well as how identical and fraternal twins are alike and different. Through his study, he also found out how much experiences in a child's early life shape that child's personality. He did tests on twins to prove the Nazi party's claims that Jews and gypsies were inferior because of their genes. Mengele thought that his subjects were more likely to get certain diseases because of their race and because their blood and tissue were breaking down. Sickening stories of his experiments. Twice a week, Mengele or one of his helpers checked on the twins and wrote down their height, weight, and other physical details. In his tests, he would often cut off baby limbs that didn't need to be cut off. In other cases, he purposely gave typhus or another disease to one twin and then gave that twin's blood to the other twin. This was done so that the other twin would get sick. During these treatments, many of the people he was testing on died. When an experiment was done, the twins were sometimes killed and their bodies were taken apart. A prison doctor at Auschwitz called Miklos Nicely said that Mengele once injected chloroform into the hearts of 14 sets of twins and killed them all in one night. When one twin died of an illness, Mengele also killed the other so that he could compare the bodies after they were dead. From Paul Weindling of Oxford Brookes University, the author of Victims and Survivors of Nazi Human Experiments, claims that Mengele used hundreds of twin babies in his experiments. He writes, I uncovered a record of a prisoner doctor and bacteriologist who was compelled to work for Mengele and found that there were 732 pairs of twins. Even though he is sure that all Roma twins died at Auschwitz, he thinks that many other sets of twins escaped, those who have been hurt by him and lived to tell about how cruel he was. Jonah Locke says that Mengele would take organs from people without giving them any painkillers and would enjoy seeing them hurt. 
Vera Kriegel also says that he put poisonous drugs into people's hearts before cutting up their bodies. The first time she was used in an experiment, she and her sister were locked in a small wooden box, and painful chemicals were injected into Vera's back over and over again. She doesn't know why they did this, but she thinks they were trying to change the color of her eyes. In fact, tests on human eyes was one of Mengele's most well-known ways of doing things. He looked at an illness called heterochromia iridium, which causes people to have eyes with different colors. Adolf Hitler supporter Dr. Ottmar Freiherr von Verschuer ran the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Anthropology, Human Hereditary Teaching, and Genetics in Berlin, where Mengele sent the eyes of heterochromatics he had killed for study. Mengele also often did experiments on live people by giving them injections that changed the color of their eyes. The Insanity of Mengele Vera also claims that they, along with over a hundred other sets of twins, took part in an experiment in which they were injected with bacteria that causes Noma sickness. Noma sickness is an infection of the mouth or genital area that causes boils and frequently turns gangrenous. Vera believes that the twins were exposed to this bacterium during the experiment. She claims that several of the twins suffered from fevers and that several of them did not survive their illnesses. Because he sought to gain a deeper understanding of the condition, Mengele was also curious about the reasons for and potential treatments for Noma. This disease had a relatively low incidence rate in Europe before it became widespread thanks to Mengele's gypsy family camp. Children from gypsy families were the first participants in Mengele's experiments. Children suffering from Noma were had to pass away at Mengele's urging in order for pathology examinations to be carried out. The Medical Academy in Graz, Austria, was one of the locations that received portions and even full children's heads transported in jars. These jars contained the remains of the children. Mengele was a staunch defender of the Nazi ideology about race. As a result, he meticulously documented the physical distinctions between individuals and harvested body parts to demonstrate that Jewish and gypsy blood was degenerating. According to Vera Alexander, in order to create fused twins, the doctor stitched together two sets of gypsy twins so that they were facing each other. The infants suffered from illness for several days prior to their deaths brought on by gangrene. How the Devil Escaped Justice Joseph Mengele fled Auschwitz on the evening of January 17, 1945, as the Soviet army was moving into Poland from the east. This occurred as the camp was being overrun by Soviet troops. He collected the documents of his experiments on twins, individuals with impairments, and dwarfs that he could discover, and took them with him. Since that awful night, Mengele has been constantly on the run. Mengele joined a Wehrmacht regiment that was disbanding and changed into a Wehrmacht officer uniform. Prior to this, he had been dressed in an SS uniform. More than 600 kilometers to the west of Auschwitz, in the city of Weiden, Germany, he was detained by American forces for a total of two months in two separate prison camps. But the Americans let him go because they couldn't be certain that he was the same Josef Mengele who was on the lists of those wanted for mass murder and other crimes made by the United Nations War Crimes Commission and the Allied High Commission in Paris. The Americans let him go because they couldn't be sure that he was the same Josef Mengele because he refused to receive a tattoo of his blood group on his chest or arm, Mengele was not held accountable for his actions. Due to the fact that the detained officer did not have a tattoo, American investigators were unable to positively identify him. During World War II, it was standard practice for German soldiers to get a tattoo of their blood type placed somewhere visible on their bodies. In-field medical personnel were able to determine which patient's blood should be used for blood transfusions thanks to the tattoos. Agents from the Allied nations were able to determine the identities of the war criminals by comparing the tattoos to documents kept in Germany. He was able to evade being detected and make his way to South America with the assistance of his affluent cousins and a big group of acquaintances he made in Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil. While swimming in the area of Bertioga, Brazil, where he passed away in February 1979 at the age of 67 years old, Mengele suffered a stroke. He was given a fictitious name and buried in the Brazilian city of Embu, which is located close to the state capital of Sao Paulo. In 1985, his burial site was excavated. 
The United States of America's Lowell Levine, a forensic scientist who was one of the dozens of experts brought to Brazil to study the skull, came to the conclusion that there is absolutely no doubt at all that this is Josef Mengele. We hope you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're a history addict, and please let us know about what civilization or time period we should talk about. Also, watch another video here.